Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Accelerate Future Law Firm Growth with ProLaw. My name is Joy Lukasiewicz, and I will be your webinar host today. I would like to go ahead and thank our today's sponsor, Thomson Reuters. ProLaw is the one business management solution that ties all of your people together, designed for small to mid-sized law firms, government agencies, and corporations. ProLaw connects your entire organization. See how your team can collaborate more efficiently and effectively to do what you do best, deliver premier client service. Again, thank you everyone for joining us today. Before we get started, I would like to ask you go ahead and please take a moment to look at the chat area in the bottom right corner of your screen. If your chat box is not open, simply click on the black chat icon in that corner. If you have technical problems today, please change the everyone option to host and send me a private message. And we will have time for Q&A at the end of today's webinar, so please continue to chat your questions and comments to everyone throughout the presentation. But we will hold them until the end. Now I would like to introduce today's speakers, Lisa and Wilson from ProLaw. Wilson, you can go ahead and take it from here. Today for joining us for our session, uh, Thompson Reuters and a um, Association of Legal Administrators got together for a um, quick uh, session for you that we're excited to present about accelerating the future of law firm growth with ProLaw. Uh, during the past couple of years, as you all know, we've experienced some uh, different ways of working, and um, Thompson Reuters gave ProLaw um, a, lot, a lot of resources, and um, we've developed into some really great ways to work remotely to do things, uh, capture more time, and we're going to show you that today. But first off, we'll start off with some quick intros, um, just so you know who we are here. Uh, my name is Wilson Britt, and I am the manager for ProLaw um, Sales, and uh, um, basically I've been doing this for my whole career, 20-plus uh, years I've been in this time legal, time billing, accounting, practice management world, uh, anything from Im implementation to mostly sales. Um, and then my, my coworker here, Lisa, she's our, uh, one of our lead account executives. She's going to be walking us through today, and she really um, had the passion for this idea and worked with our, uh, some of our existing clients during um, COVID to kind of help them uh, establish some of these things that you're going to see today as far as um, out of the office working, um, capturing time, making sure you're, you're, you're working a little bit differently, but also you're being efficient. So um, she's very excited to, to show what we've come up with on that. All right, so we got some tools we're, we're going to uh, talk about today. Uh, first of all, just kind of a quick agenda. Um, really, uh, with a product called Workspace, you're going to see how um, you can, an attorney, a lawyer, can work from anywhere. Um, it's just a log into a website. Of course, security controls things, and you can you can uh, enter time, look at, ca at case information. We also can uh, submit uh, your invoices from there. So your performance or pre bills, we can we can do those online as well using the Workspace product. Uh, really, uh, really nice feature for no, for getting rid of that paper that we so often uh, um, during COVID may maybe FedEx to get changes to pre-bills, um, we can get rid of that and just move into a paperless world um, using this tool. Really excited about it. And then also we're going to tie into uh, one of ProLaw's products called HiQ, and, um, or sorry, one of uh, Thomson Reuters Elite's products called HiQ, where we built uh, what, something that our clients have always wanted. It was a very secure client portal. And we didn't just build a secure client portal to, change, to exchange documents and statements. We actually built one to really, um, really share a lot of information from ProLaw to the, the client without them having to necessarily contact us. All right, some of the tools that we're going to talk about today real quick. And, and I did these, uh, we did these PowerPoints for you to have something to kind of download, and I don't want to read you point by point. But just to give you an idea, Workspace is a, a web-based tool. Um, as you can see from the screenshot, 
time entry, get into your matters. Um, for those of you who might be ProLaw users out there, that uh, might make a little more sense some of these buttons, but we'll explain them during the demo. Um, it really does, I mean, you, you can be sitting in your recliner at home, log in, and put in some time, see how you're doing for the month, the year, uh, even review performers, right? Um, in addition with those performers, we're going to talk about some things that we've developed um, with our clients to really help them manage the workflow around that as well. So we have some great collaboration within the paperless tool. Um, you can do some statistics, statistics, a word I can never say, um, and uh, kind of get those worst offenders and see who's holding on to those, uh, those performers for, more, for longer than they should. So some really neat uh, stats there. Um, and then, of course, um, we can get bills out easier and faster. Now, we're going to wrap up here with, uh, like I mentioned, HiQ. And um, HiQ uh, is, like I said, a Thomson Reuters Elite product. Um, it really is a layer over um, that can pull data, um, visualize data, do a bunch of, um, of different, uh, different things within ProLaw, but today we're going to concentrate on um, that, that client portal. And by that, um, we're going to share a, or we're gonna share a document or documents uh, with a client. We're going to log in a, a, as a client and see some information we can see in, in addition to retrieving that document, maybe some AR that I owe and things like that. So um, with that, um, we're going to pass it over to Lisa, who again, once again, was a little bit of the brainchild of this and uh, let her uh, walk you through what she's helped so, so many of our clients with in um, this uh, new world that we live in. Thanks, Wilson. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here. This is a great, these are some great tools to help modernize your ProLaw experience. Uh, if you're using ProLaw already, you know the tool's been around for 30, almost 40 years, and it's just chock full of resources and tools for every role at the firm. Uh, but even still, we have folks that are, want to work from wherever. They want a modern look and feel, and ProLaw Workspace is that. And so I'm going to walk you through a whole bunch of components here that are going to help empower your team, um, create the right tool for the right uh, role at your firm and really modernize the experience so that way we're breaking down silos and becoming even more efficient uh, as we think about billing and sharing and collaborating with our customers as well. So a really great opportunity here for you to maximize on your ProLaw data. Now one thing that Wilson didn't mention that's really exciting is ProLaw Workspace is not a whole new build out where you have to have a big implementation. Uh, it is a part of your ProLaw system and feeds right into your current system, whether that's ProLaw in the cloud, if you're having it hosted, or it's on-premise. Uh, we can exploit this tool to really help improve the everyday uh, user's experience, and I want to walk you through that. So first and foremost, as you look here at the dashboard, we have a bunch of different ways to see some of the analytics. I'm logged in as a timekeeper, so these are my uh, data points. Uh, how am I doing as a timekeeper? And I can slice and dice this a couple different ways, by month, by year. Uh, maybe a graph is great and I can hover and see some details that help me to see, okay, how am I hitting, how, how am I doing uh, against the goals of the firm? But I could also look at it at a grid view. So, you know, a couple different ways to slice and dice this that makes sense um, for different roles, different people, right? So it's a nice way to be able to kind of see where I'm, where I'm at right out of the chute without having to do a whole lot. And I think that's really important uh, for everyone to know and to be aware of. Now, let's go ahead and enter time entry. Really easy to do with this uh, workspace tool set. I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter my matter, and if I didn't have a big fat finger, that would help. Uh, notice how I didn't have to tell ProLaw that it's a matter ID, a client sort or description, and then enter some information. It automatically did that with some Google-like searching that is really powerful. Um, once I select the matter that's appropriate, then, you know, if I have the security class to enter my time for someone else, I can easily do that by clicking the drop down and, and find the appropriate person that I may be authorized to enter time on behalf of. Uh, from there, what I can do is go ahead and enter my information of time. We do have some timers. I'll show you that here in just a moment. But then those abbreviations or expansion codes you already have set up in your ProLaw system will flow right up here. You do not have to do extra configuration in this way, so it's a light lift. Uh, but it's nice because 
uh, if you're not aware of this in Prolaw, Prolaw does a great job of helping to create consistency among your time entry narratives, uh, empowering abbreviations that can be deployed at the firm level, the matter level, or at the user level. And there's just a lot of different ways that those can be used to your advantage. You know, consistency around the, the way you present your work product, but even if I accidentally spelt Cynthia's name wrong, I could set it up at a user level to help me prevent uh, a faux pas that might just look bad. So then the next thing to know about is if I had any of the required things, tax activity code coming front to mind uh, at the billing tab inside of ProLaw, those would be required here and would help to ensure that when you set it and forget it inside of ProLaw, that flows through to this workspace tool, really validating your time entries so that time entries are less likely to be written down, you have consistency, and they meet the standard in which ProLaw requires and your firm requires. Now, I mentioned timers, so we have a nice way where I can run a quick timer, and after so, I can, I can expand it in, and make it into a time entry. Real easy way. Now, time entry, let's not forget about our mobile device. Uh, mobile devices are a very powerful part of our world. We're all on our mobile phones nonstop. Mobile device has some great tools. Talk to text, your native um, functions from your iPhone or Android device devices that you can leverage, uh, really powerful. You can cache those if you don't have access to internet. So as soon as you do have access to the internet, it all uh, bakes into the ProLaw database and you get credit for that work, right? So don't want to forget about that modern tool set that's available and it's very easy to deploy uh, for your team so long as you're on .NET ProLaw. Now, that being said, one thing I haven't mentioned that's important to note, um, ProLaw Workspace came about um, fairly recently in light of COVID, so you would need to be on a fairly current version of ProLaw in order to exploit some of the tools that I'm going to show you. So I showed you time entry. Let's talk about how I can search for time. It's always nice to be able to go back if I remembered, oh man, I was in the shower last night and I totally forgot that I needed to add a piece uh, to something. Uh, maybe I needed to add to my narrative. I, I, could, I could go ahead and add more info if I need to. Really easy for me to do. And this is um, a stage in which I'm still authorized to make those, those transaction edits, right, typically in stage batch. Now let's think about as we're talking time and revenue, how we can empower the firm to stop doing the PDF shuffle. Now I heard all kinds of horror stories during COVID about how folks were handling this. Some folks were bindering this all up and all the pre-bills and taking them to attorney's house, literally driving over there with COVID masks on, dropping it off, and then wiping it down and delivering it to another person. Um, things have definitely gotten more um, uh, advanced than that as we've had more and more time in this conundrum we all live through together. Uh, but I call it the PDF shuffle. No matter which way you look at it, FedEx is involved in a secretary, an attorney, whomever's shuffling that paper, it's delaying the entire process. So let's just take a moment and talk about uh, pro-law paperless performance before we look at some of the other case management tools that I definitely want to showcase for you today. So. ProLaw Paperless Performance is a tool set that's embedded inside Workspace. It is an extra license component, but very powerful in allowing the everyday attorney who wants to get in and edit their time an easy way to do that. So the billing team will kick off or generate your performance uh, and then send out uh, notifications, and we have a bunch of settings to help really um, uh, notify people in a way that makes sense for you that can vary firm to firm. And so we have got the settings that are going to make that easy for folks to get a notice. Hey, you've got to perform and you need to go look at it. Once they get that notice, uh, they can, they'll get a link that takes them right to this place, and it'll show them all of their uh, performance that need to be addressed. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my Burns versus Sinclair performance. I've got about $27,000 in WIP that needs to be reviewed. So I'm going to click on Actions and say View Performance. Now, before we go line by line by line, going through some time entries and reviewing how I can make some edits, I do want to showcase some of that traditional pre-build notice information that most firms want. Um, and so we've got a whole bunch of inception to date information here, what's relative to the invoice in front of us today, and what has gone out the door or has been, uh, you know, has been activity in the past. And then let's take that a step further. Many firms I talk with tell me that they are using this pre-bill time as an opportunity to have the billing attorney, responsible attorney, managing attorney, whomever it might be in your workflow, uh, to tap your customer on the shoulder relative to AR. 
always being mindful about the cash flows the firm needs in order to operate, right? And so right here, I have the ability to see what the overall AR is on my matter. And with that, I can then easily get some more information about my contacts, uh, my clients, so that I can shoot them a quick email and reach out to them so that way we're all in the big circle of bringing revenue to the firm. So breaking down silos, not having to go back to accounting teams in order to get this information, and it makes it really easy for me to kind of have some of that higher level information. Now, it's not unusual to have a big section on your pre-bill where you're just sharing instructions and kind of repetitive information that needs to be front of mind as we think of this, right, as we proceed with editing our pre-bills. And so we've got a couple different boxes, custom tab fields, that help us to create a, a way to share information, break down those silos, make sure everyone has the information that is pivotal to their uh, pre-bill process, right? So that's what these two boxes here at the top do. They help you share information from the the thick ProLaw desktop client uh, to this site so that the persons reviewing this have the right information in front of them. Now what can happen then is you go down here and you simply make changes that you need to make. So let me make a few so I can show you. Uh, one obvious one is I need to add more information. So my narrative. So maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to run a spell check. All of those things that you'd expect are available. What I really like about this is it's important to note that this is a page that's referable later. We all need that CYA and that's important that I have it. And anytime I've made a change, there will be an edited notation for me to, to stand out and let me know. Now, I could place this on hold if I have this security class to do so. I could um, go ahead and no charge this, which would um, allow it to be on the bill but not have a charge associated with it, still tracking what happened, the hours and units and so on and the, and the price. Uh, same with no billing. I could just say, you know what, we're not going to even show this on the bill, but we want to make sure we're tracking the activity. So again, if I have the security to do these things, I'm able to quickly and easily make some changes. And to that effect, I can even do some discounts uh, if I needed to, either by percentage or amount. So that's really nice to be able to have those tools easily one by one, but what if I want to do that in mass? Because there are a bunch of transactions, a bunch of time entry, as you mentioned, as I mentioned, there's $27,000 uh, wrapped up into this pre-built. So it's going to be a big one, probably going to take me a minute to go through them all, and it makes sense. It's a big customer. It's a valuable customer. We want to make sure we're getting it right. But there's also the need sometimes to do things in mass, right? So I can simply select all and do some of those same functions in mass. So know that we've got your back so that way we're making the right tools available for the situation in hand. It very well may be that you just need to go line by line by line and make some adjustments as needed. But there will be use cases when you want to do it in math and we've got your back that way. So we'll be able to help you go line by line uh, and affect all of them or uh, assist you going line by line. And the same is going to be the true if I have costs. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this section and show you costs look the same. They just have a different billing component, right, a billing code. Um, and what's great about this is both the cost and the fees have a lovely section where if we have somebody, and we all know this somebody, who does not want to go line by line, they just want to make the comment back to the billing team. So 5% uh, uh, right down. Maybe they just want to tell you what to do. This is what this is about. Uh, conversely, we also have those at the individual level. So this billing notes is a nice way to share information back to the billing team so that they can make one-off uh, adjustments on your behalf if you're not uh, willing or able to make the, uh, the adjustments yourself. So a really nice way for me to make sure that I'm able to see and view uh, the paperless performer the way I would want. Now, here's the really cool part where we help break down your silos and make this an even more efficient process. And that's where, when I'm done, I can come up to actions and I could simply release it. If this is a very, some firms are very simplistic. They have one person that reviews it and it goes right back to billing. I simply release it. Con conversely, I can collaborate on this in several ways. My favorite being sequential. This is what I see most firms wanting to do is 
Um, the partner, whom is the owner of this, has done his due diligence, and then it goes down the line through the series of individuals that matter, right? So it's a really powerful way to break down silos and make sure we're all um, taking our glance at this pre-build before it goes out the door. We want to make sure it's all buttoned up. We want to make sure there are no uh, faux pas that are going to look bad, right? No hickey. So from here, it's a really nice way to streamline that. Now, what does that look like if I collaborated? Well, when I collaborate, what happens is I would get uh, pre builds on in my review section. These are ones that other people have given me to review, and it's now my turn to do my due diligence and pass them on along the line. Um, we do have a couple ways that we can handle, you know, those that we've submitted, and here's all those that I've released in the past. So as I mentioned, you can go back and re review them if you need to, so that way you've always got it. Um, and there is also a print option within there. You may have seen that a moment ago. So really great from a timekeeper perspective, but it gets even cooler when we talk about it from an administrative view. The administrative view is really powerful. So now I'm just going to toggle. I'm logged in as somebody who has both rights, and that happens from time to time, right? It might be a managing partner and an admin, but the admin view is really powerful. So let me show you that piece because I think you're going to really like it. Uh, with the admin view and this show metrics columns uh, expanded, what happens is uh, ProLaw Workspace and Paperless Performa give you the opportunity to see how long uh, pre builds have been sitting out there. Who is the current owner of them and who's the slacker, right? In my sales environment, we have things that are really aging and old Joe Schmo here is really letting us down. It's nice to no longer have to have a spreadsheet where you're manually tracking this and going around manually non-strategic work, going around, walking around, asking everybody, pinging people through Teams or chats or texts just to see where their pre builds are. Now let's think about this even further. If we're taking a huge binder of PDFs or even a big file of PDF pre-bills and having to work every single one of them before we can pass them on, we're really slowing down our ability to be agile in billing. I've heard more and more during COVID that folks are billing, firms are billing uh, more fluidly than ever. And a tool like this really helps you expand on that because you're not holding the whole kit and caboodle for that one big one that's taking a while to process and edit uh, any longer. All the lower ones can be done out the door, build and cash coming in while we're still man man maybe manually editing those larger uh, invoice piles. So uh, paperless performa within workspace, a very powerful tool set that's going to help empower your team to do more, attract millennials as we're looking for the new associates, and really help to uh, break down silos so that folks can be more efficient and bring more revenue quickly. Now what I'd like to do is put my case management hat on and switch to my dashboard. Right from the ProLaw Workspace dashboard, there's a bunch of really great tools here that I want to point out for you. Um, this is a tool set that's getting more and more features and functions, um, so be on the lookout. More is coming. As I scroll down here, I can see the events, uh, calendar appointments, deadlines, tasks that are important uh, that I'm assigned to. I can filter those out in a way that you're probably used to seeing from the ProLaw Work or uh, the desktop application. It's nice because those events are right here in my face. So I'll show you where that's even at a matter level. Uh, you can see that same kind of in my face. But it's also important to note if you've not used ProLaw, all of the calendar events do push out to Outlook and are also powered by Westfall Legal Calendaring Rules often. So keep that in mind. But from here, I want to highlight a couple things. For example, let's go over to my Burns versus Sinclair Matter and look at it from a matter perspective. I've got some general information here, which is really important to know. Uh, I can see who my main contacts are, who my professionals are on the case, and here are my upcoming appointments, uh, deadlines, or tasks that I, are, I need to really be mindful about. Now, one thing that has made itself obvious is in this workspace tool, it is now easier than ever to make a note about uh, conversations with this customer. This is really important in breaking down silos so that other folks at the firm are able to go in and see what your current activity has been. Not every firm will take it to that level, but it's important you know that you have the ability with ProLaw to leverage posts to file or notes uh, back to the, the system so that way everybody can see what's happening and get a vantage point. 
Now, as we walk through the different sections here, you'll see some differences, but a lot of the pro-law uh, nomenclature and, and the way we approach things is very similar. So here are my main contacts. I have an access to my related contacts, so any of those expert witnesses, judges, those folks are still here. And then one of the things most people ask me about is, what about my custom tabs? Well, if you've been using ProLaw for a long time, you probably have custom tabs there that are critical and can be reported on. It's a nice way to customize your ProLaw experience, your database, and your tracking points. And so those tabs are here and are visible for you to add information to. One place we've differentiated in a case management perspective is we've broken out documents. And in doing so, I think we've really added to some great functionality uh, about how this can be um, seen. I'm going to switch to list view, but I want to highlight this is your event class. We call it category in this particular tool set, but this is your ordering of all the stuff inside of ProLaw events. I'm going to go to list view just real quick like so we can see it a little bit differently. And I apologize, my, my internet has been uh, a little squirrely, but from here what I can see is all my documents. Uh, and here's what I really like is I can filter these out. I could filter by professional department, um, when it was created, who created it, what, what was the name, what was the number, but here's something I really like. I could do a full text searching from right here against all my documents very easily, so that way I can see where this, um, where this stands. So this is a quick look at the particular document that's tied to a hematoma in this example. It's a fun word, so I like to use it whenever I can. <laughs> so from documents, really nice for me to be able to really query in. From events themselves, I get to do the same thing you're expecting, filter out or exclude and see just certain things I want. Maybe I just want to see the appointments. Maybe I just want to see appointments and deadlines, and maybe I want to see those in a tree view where I can see uh, what's happening. So here's an example of a Westlaw legal calendaring case. Uh, we're going to have a trial, but we need to have all of these things buttoned up before we can do that. So it's nice to be able to see them here. And from here, one of the things I really like is once something's done, I can go in and make uh, a notation about it being complete pretty easily. Not every firm marks things complete as done, but as we're dealing with the human resignation or shuffle, it's nice to know there are ways to uh, ask your firm and your staff to mark things complete so that it's easier to know what's been done and what's not. Now, to that effect, I can also edit this. Say it's not done, but I need to add somebody else. I can do that really easily uh, by adding them or deleting them very easily. Again, these all push out to Outlook, so if I've made a change, it'll just instantly send it out to Outlook, so that way Outlook calendars are updated. Now, as we go through these sections, it's important to note um, that as a case management person, I, I'm an attorney, a paralegal, uh, I, deal, I do still have access or access to my financial information, what's been billed, what's been paid, uh, what's our current AR, what is um, you know, the trust account balances, all of that detail is also available here. So from the dashboard, I can access my contacts and matters really easily. There's a couple other things I want to show you that I think you're going to really like from here. So from uh, uh, the dashboard, I've just logged in. I haven't done the clicks that you've seen me do today. I'm logged in. I'm a timekeeper. Um, maybe I'm a paralegal and I've got a bunch of stuff that just came in and I need to save it back to our document management system. Well, I could do the drag and drop, but I can also do some things to help do document assembly. So I can save stuff in through drag and drop. I could also use some of the profiling tools. It's important to always give a plug there. They are really fantastic, embedded inside Word, Outlook, and Excel, and PDF. So there, are, there is that. But from here, I could drag and drop things in, or I can assemble documents, pulling information out of ProLaw and the ProLaw database into your documents. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Burns Matter, and I'm going to select which type of, boy, I need it. Which type, oh, yeah, 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 see, this is fun, engagement letter. So I'm going to select engagement letter. Uh, and now I can make changes to whom my addressee is. This just happens to be a document template that's set up in the ProLaw system, flows up into workspace, as I mentioned, so it's really easy for me to get here. I could change who my addressees are. I could add recipients if need be, but it's really easy. All I have to do is press save. ProLaw is going to go ahead and assemble my document and give me an opportunity to view it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so you can see it's a very light 
uh, example of how I pulled in uh, Prolog custom to ab fields and Prolog detail into a document. This would be really helpful at helping mitigate instances like we saw in Nevada recently where a real estate firm sold one parcel but really gave away 86. Document assembly will really help automate and create efficiency and reduce errors like that. And it's really great that I can do this on the fly um, on a web page. So we want to throw that out there and want you to know that that tool is available. So as I look at my notes, uh, the thing I wanted to do next is show you document searching across all the matters that I have the security uh, to view. So from here, I can search against everything. Um, I am already searching for the hematoma. I could clear that out. I can do anything I'd like from here um, and, and then search by professional if need be. Maybe, maybe somebody's leaving or maybe Joe Schmo is in trouble and I need to do some due diligence to see what types of documents he's done. So there's a lot that can be said around the searching here and it is very powerful to pull in information as needed. So I want you to know that this is a really powerful piece of the pie um, document searching from here. So if I, if I have the ability to see it, I'll be able to search it and I'll, I'll be able to refer to it as needed. So I want you to know that that's a tool set that's available. Now with that, uh, I want to take the first steps of saving something into a high queue drive on behalf of Wilson. So I'm going to go over to the ProLaw desktop uh, where we have a whole bunch of tools and resources. And I'm going to go to events off the dashboard real quick. And I'm going to quickly grab that document that we just assembled from the ProLaw workspace. And I want to walk you through how easy it is to go ahead and save this to the high queue drive. And then Wilson's going to show you what it looks like from that point. So I've found my document. Um, there's lots of ways that I can find documents from inside ProLaw. I could do this at the matter level. I could just do this from a document view. I'm in Quick Find, and I've simply filtered for the document I want, searching for this month. So anything that I've done this month, um, bear in mind, I did see, I did have another one here just to make sure it was working, so forgive me, but we, I want to showcase this for you. So I'm going to go ahead and say Actions and save this document externally. When I do that, I get a nice little pop-up that says, all right, you want to save this, let's talk about the options. And once you have the HiQ drive installed, you'd simply click on the three-dot ellipsis to figure out where you want to save it to. And it's within your documents, you would see HiQ and then folders that are going to correlate to the website. Wilson will show you in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and say these are client documents that we're sending to the client and say, okay, I can rename this. So I'm going to add today. I could convert this to PDF. I'm going to skip that just for time's sake and go ahead and press the green check mark. And with that, we have saved that document off to the HiQ document or the HiQ uh, instance that we want to showcase for you now. So I'm going to stop talking because I could talk for a all day long. And, long. <laughs> and I'm going to pass this over to Wilson. And you know me, I was dying to jump in 10 times there, but I, I, I kept my mouth shut. So that's pretty good. Um, wow. So, uh, yeah. Let's now pretend a little bit. We're going to pretend in uh, our, our demo world that now I am the client, right? So, um, <clears throat> one of the things that, that, that you know we just showed you was you know sharing that that document um, through the HiQ drive, and that is a secure drive, right? Um, that's just something. Although we we have 30 to 40 years of technology built into ProLaw, something we've always had uh, um, clients asking for, and as you can see here, now we have it. Lisa dropped that document into the uh, drive, and I, as the client, log in here, and I scroll down, and there's my document that Lisa just shared. Maybe I got an email saying, hey, you got a new letter from Lisa or from the, from the firm. Um, <clears throat> but I can see here, in addition to um, that letter, she also dropped in a, a statement for me to pay, right? So I also uh, see that here's my latest statement that I need to pay um, um, the firm because I'm. it looks like we're doing a lot of work there with Lisa. So um, really, really great tool. Once again, a secure connection is what we really wanted to highlight uh, on, on, on that ability there. And um, going back to the, uh, the main screen there, um, Looks like we lost our ProLaw PowerPoint. For our... All right, one second. 
our internet. This is where, uh, yep, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, had a little issue with uh, uh, Wi-Fi, as we all can imagine we've uh, dealt with here uh, recently. But um, uh, here today, I uh, just wanted to wrap up. Here's the, those documents. And then um, you can also, uh, I wanted to show off the fact that um, we can do a little bit more, just kind of give you a little tease to what else you could do in, in addition to this, this HiQ um, client portal um, that our clients have been asking for, is we do have some uh, client information we might want to share. Now, let's get a little bit creative here in, in our mind and think about this as either external or internal, right? So this could be uh, either way. Uh, we could share information pulled from ProLaw and put into something like this for, for our attorneys, right? Or in this case, what we really want to point out is data that we can share with our client. What kind, when's your trials? When's your, uh, you know, we, show, we showed you the documents. Maybe we put some AR in here, right? So we can really give them a lot of uh, information about their matter or matters without coming to us um, necessarily. Really great, great way to collaborate with your clients, becoming more and more important. Uh, one of the things that kind of wraps us up, and, and uh, you may have saw it on the first slide, and I think it's a neat little uh, tool, is that when one of the tools that you can use when you use HiQ is when you wrap up that matter in ProLaw, we could have an experience uh, go out and um, get a survey from our attorneys or attorneys who worked that as well as from our client and get some feedback on how that went. So just to give you a little tease of some of the tools that you can use in addition to that uh, client drive, and we'd be happy to talk to you guys about that uh, uh, in the future. Just wanted to give you a, a quick little look today. And with that, we're going um, to wrap up here and jump into our, our questions and answers uh, session. And uh, just real quick, if you want, I guess uh, you guys can download this, um, prolaw.com really easy to find us, uh, request a demo. Also there, if you want to take a little screenshot, you have our information, feel free to uh, reach out to us. We'll make sure you get to the right person. Um, and uh, if it's about ProLaw or HiQ, uh, happy to talk to you about either, and again, get you to the right person. Again, um, I'm kind of bolded there, not, not great, but uh, um, please connect with us on LinkedIn. Uh, really do a lot of activity now, a lot of information shared, a lot of exciting uh, announcements from ProLaw, from Thomson Reuters that we'd like to share out there. So with that, we're going to uh, jump into the uh, question and answer portion and um, open it up to you guys. Thank you very much. Here we go. Thank you so much, Wilson and Lisa. We will go ahead and open it up to questions. I do want to remind everyone to send those questions and comments that you have through the chat box by selecting everyone or all panelists, and we will um, have those come through. So I have a few we'll get started with. And Lisa and Wilson, I'll let you play off of each other on um, who's answering which questions. But here we go. The first one is, um, you mentioned ProLaw is a one office system and workspace is a tool within that system. Can you tell us more about the one office concept, reducing silos? I'm going to let Lisa take, take that one. She, uh, she speaks well. Go ahead, Lisa. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Uh, yeah, ProLaw is a one office system that organically creates relationships and really helps empower your ability to report. Uh, workspace is a portion of that that layers into that. Uh, I can also use this as an opportunity to speak to the question we just received. Is it ProLaw still server based? Because that's at the front of mind of everybody. Uh, and it's a hybrid tool. It can be in the cloud or it can be in the server. It's a, a really powerful tool that helps you have the right tool for everyone. You know, you have 30, 40 years worth of uh, features and functions built in there for accounting and billing and all of the managerial sides of things. Uh, but then with Workspace and HiQ, you have some great ways to modernize your ProLaw experience, extend the life of it, and leverage the data points you already have uh, and configuration you already have to help really make a more seamless uh, experience for everyone uh, that you're working with and your internal staff. I hope I answered that well. <laughs> yeah, and just to add to that, you know, um, 
we're, we're hearing more and more that the one office experience is what um, firms are looking for. And for those of you out there, I don't know who's who's a client versus who uh, is, is a, a first look is, is it does. It takes care of, you know, pretty much everything your law firm does as far as time billing and accounting, document management, as well as docketing, calendaring, contacts, as um, Lisa said, and uh, just a really powerful tool. So uh, that's a, a little bit more of, the, of that one office concept. And, and um, it, it was interesting in the, the shift of people wanting to get away from those silos of data into kind of a one office system, um, especially the last three years. So that was a bit surprising to us um, <laughs> during, during the tough times, uh, but it was actually um, a, a unique time because firms uh, really worked on their technology as well. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, thank you, Wilson. Thanks for that. I have another question here um, that's coming through. As an existing client, can we use Workspace as replacement for the attorney's current dashboard in ProLaw? It looks like this, like, it looks like what they have been asking for. Yes, yes, to answer that question, I'm gonna jump all over you, Wilson, so sorry. I was, I was yes. gonna jump on you, go right ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, this can become the new PlayStation for the everyday user, your timekeepers, your, your staff that are working in cases, adding time, needing to assemble or handle documents. You could lever leverage workspace. Uh, mobile apps and the um, .NET profiling, which allows you to do some of the document management embedded in Outlook, Word, and Excel, and even PDF, uh, to really make their experience one where they do not have to have ProLaw open on their machine at all, and they could be leveraging a website that is more modern and easy uh, to use. And one quick note before I pass it to Wilson to, to, to say anything that maybe I missed there. I've heard from a lot of firms that millennials or younger associates and attorneys they're trying to headhunt really want modern tools, and I can completely relate. I do too. Uh, but when you have features and functions like Prola has that have been around for as long as they have been and they're tried and true, uh, we want to provide you with the right tools for everybody. And so to answer your question, yes, Workspace is the tool to help modernize your timekeeper everyday users experience, and it can be uh, added really easily. And I, I think I would add, add to that to kind of go back to the question about um, the hybrid situation with ProLaw is um, you can see the future of ProLaw and workspace, right? Um, building more and more uh, functionality. It's a, it's a great tool. And, and like Lisa said, it, that's what I was going to add is we're finding that um, the younger <laughs> people uh, uh, really can just uh, don't need, need much training. Right, they just jump right in, and they they can look at what they're they're looking at in uh, workspace and just start working, and they really appreciate that. Also, something we uh, didn't show today that we should kind of talk about when you're talking about working out of offices. We also are, are embedded in uh, off, uh, Microsoft Office as well, so um, working in in those tools, ProLaw is going to be available even if ProLaw is not open. So uh, something we didn't really work in today, but wanted to mention. And uh, so uh, wanted to cover that real quick. Thanks, Wilson. Yeah, that's exactly it. That embedding into Office uh, is a part of that .NET profiling piece. And it really does bring a lot of power. We continue to retool that uh, functionality to bring more and more features and functions to make it easier to use for the everyday person. Uh, and and I, you know, I know our team would be excited to showcase that with you if you haven't seen it yet or aren't already using it. Great, thanks. And as I ask everyone um, for their last few questions that are coming in, um, I will go ahead and share your email addresses again. Um, I do want to reiterate that if Lisa and Wilson are not the correct people to um, talk to, they will make sure that they get you to the correct person to talk to. Um, as well as here comes the link to um, ProLaw requesting a demo or more information if anybody is looking for that as well. So I don't see any other questions coming in, Lisa and Wilson, but I would like to turn things back over to you if you'd like to say some final thoughts and remarks. And if anybody does have a last-minute question, go ahead and sneak that into the chat box for us. Thanks, Joy. Perfect. I appreciate it. I'm just going to jump all over Wilson and then let him wrap it up if we don't have any questions that sneak in here. Uh, I, I'd like you to all know that I am your ProLaw girl. I've had every role of ProLaw except for development. 
uh, started as a support analyst and have been everywhere over here. And I like to use that to your advantage. And I just want to throw it out there. So you got my email address. Feel free to hit me up. I'm here to help you get more out of the tools you may already be using or to help you figure out how we can get you out of your siloed data points. Because a lot of firms I'm working with today that don't use ProLaw uh, often have six, seven, ten different platforms that they're using in order to get the job done. When in ProLaw, we can, we can kind of build a much more organic system. And now that you've seen, we've got modern tools for the everyday user and Hopefully you can talk to your counterparts here and learn about the power hitting tools that are for accounting and billing and case management. Uh, I'm hopeful that I'll hear from you and I can use my insights to help you get the most uh, bang for your buck. And with that, I'll, I'll turn it to Wilson. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just wrap it up real quick with a um, quick thank you to uh, Joy for her help today um, and the whole, the whole crew behind uh, the scenes that uh, put this together and um, Hopefully you guys got a little bit from us about ProLaw, how we're moving along in the future, how, how your attorneys can work more efficiently. And um, like Lisa said, um, hit us up. I, uh, I, I manage this team. I've got a great team across the country uh, and in Canada. So um, they'll be happy to work with you. Just uh, let us know how we can help. Also, I just wanted to take a quick little uh, second to say that I acknowledge the fact that um, maybe you haven't seen our presence uh, as much as um, we had in the past for a year or two. That was, um, that's been taken care of. You're going to see a lot of pro law, a lot of Thomson Reuters, Thomson Reuters elite again. Um, just some changes with organization and, and uh, we're back. So uh, hopefully uh, this is a good sign uh, beginning to uh, uh, a restart to a great relationship that we, uh, we, we got a, a, a bit away from, so we look forward to uh, working with you guys more again. With that, have a great day. Thank you so much, Wilson and Lisa. That's great news, Wilson, that we're looking forward to seeing um, both of you around. And um, I do have something from Marianne that came up. Uh, future pro-law webinars, how would they sign up? Uh, would that be directly through your site? Or yeah, ALA. So, um, I would hit up, the best way to do it is hit, um, since we're here today, hit up uh, Lisa or, or myself, um, um, or just go to ProLaw.com, and you'll find uh, plenty of resources there. Um, but just to make the shortcut, hit us up today, and, and we'll send you the link. Yeah, <laughs> so good question. Find it. Good question, Mary. And the other suggestion I'd have there is LinkedIn. That's another place where we're publishing webinars like this when they come about. So go find us on LinkedIn uh, if you don't want to or have the time to reach out to us in an email. Yeah. That might be a good way to stay in the know about live kind of engagements we're having like this. Uh, I know that I'm pushing my team to do more and more of getting out there in front of people. So please feel free to reach out. I'd love to connect you with folks in your particular area. And I know Wilson would love that too. So thank you for your time today, you guys. All right. Have a great Thanks, afternoon and morning. You too. Thank you to all the attendees for joining us today. Thanks, Lisa and Wilson, for a great presentation. And also a special thank you to Thomson Reuters for sponsoring today's event. Um, this does conclude today's webcast. Thank you all for attending. We do want you to know that there will be a recording available later today, and we will send a link to everyone that registered um, with that tomorrow. So have a great day, and take care, everyone.